What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Dreamcatcher's Fishing Channel. Yeah, just gonna tell you straight up, they could go to jail. All right, in all seriousness, we were out on Lake Glenville on a guide trip the other day and uh, one of my great customers, Dudley, caught this absolute giant right here. Boom, that's right. Five and change pound mean mouth. Five and change pound mean mouth. It was like five, two. Uh, what is a mean mouth? A mean mouth is a cross between a smallmouth bass and a spotted bass, and they are absolutely so prevalent in western North Carolina, North Georgia, and upstate South Carolina, even kind of creeping into East Tennessee. But what it is is a spotted bass pretty much can reproduce with everything. And yeah, so what's the deal, right? Guys from spotted bass fisheries, whether that be the Savannah River chain, Hartwell, Kiwi, Chattahoochee chain, uh, which is like Lanier, all those lakes, they're taking spotted bass, and here's the deal, they're taking spotted bass and putting them all up in these traditional smallmouth fisheries, Lake James, Lake Glenville, caught that big mean mouth out of it, that's a traditional smallmouth fishery, and and here's here, here's the truth, spotted bass are so much easier to catch, straight up, they are more aggressive, all times of the year, whether the water's 90 degrees or 33 degrees, spotted bass are aggressive. So they're easier to catch and truthfully, they're pretty delicious to eat. But the reality of the situation is, guys are transporting invasive species to all the lakes in Western North Carolina, upstate South Carolina, and North Georgia. And what you're seeing is this crazy crossbreed fish that we're calling a mean mouth. So it's one of those deals, it is extremely frustrating on one hand because our lakes are predominantly like these amazing smallmouth fisheries. And on the other hand, uh, you know, these things are really like taking over and decimating, decimating our smallmouth. That's just really the truth. They're just decimating. And the reality is, I think if you transport an invasive species like a spotted bass, you can look at jail time. I think it's a serious, I'm not, I don't think it's a felony, but I know it's a misdemeanor. And uh, yeah, it's really crummy because these lakes that are, you know, always putting out these amazing smallmouth bass now, really tough to catch smallmouth bass. Literally, Fontana Lake, if you catch a smallmouth bass on Fontana Lake, you've done something. The fact that we waited an all smallmouth bag a few weeks ago in a tournament was crazy. Everyone at the weigh-in was like, what were you doing? And I'm like, man, it was just luck. We just happened to catch five big smallmouth. But predominantly, we're catching a lot of spotted bass and then those mean mouth crossbreeds. And yeah, it's annoying. It is what it is. It's bothersome. But, you know, once again, on the other hand, it's like for me as a guide, it's easier to have my customers catch a lot of spotted bass. But Lake Chattooke, uh, right there on the border of North Georgia and Western North Carolina, man, used to be an amazing smallmouth fishery. It's completely overrun with spotted bass now. Uh, Lake James, which is right in between Charlotte and Asheville, man, used to be a great smallmouth fishery. Still is a really good smallmouth fishery, but we're catching more mean mouth, catching more spotted bass. A lot of guys bringing those fish up from Lake Norman. It is going to destroy the fisheries. It's already destroyed Hiawassee, Appalachia, Fontana, Jocassee. A lot of these traditional smallmouth fisheries, they've been overrun by spotted bass and mean mouth. And it is what it is. So it's bothersome, like I said, on one hand, because we really like smallmouth bass. All of our lakes are kind of that unique as far south as you can go with smallmouth fisheries. Uh, and on the other hand, you know, it is it is great for people to catch numbers of fish, but really the spotted bass don't grow as big. But here's the deal, the mean mouth, here's some pictures of my buddy from a certain lake, which I'm not gonna mention. Boom, boom, giants. Those are both seven pound mean mouth, freaking pigs. Yeah, it's mean mouth can grow. A spotted bass and smallmouth, the smallmouth get like four and five pounds, the spotted bass will get four and five pounds. For whatever reason, that mean mouth, they grow large. Those were both seven pounders caught by Andy Martin, who I fished uh, the New Year's Day tournament Fontana with that we won. Uh, but yeah, he's my buddy. He catches giant mean mouth bass. So they do grow big on one hand. Sometimes I think like, hey, the state should probably start recognizing this species as a state record uh, because they're so prevalent in all of our fisheries and there's been some big ones caught. But Anyways, drop a line. I want to hear your thoughts. It bothers me when guys are taking invasive species and putting them in lakes. You know, it's one of those deals. It's a, it really is a catch-22. It sucks because they're decimating the smallmouth, but it, it is helping the numbers of fish being caught, and they can get kind of bigger. I don't know. It's bothersome, really, because everyone likes smallmouth fishing. Like I said, this is far south as you can go and still catch good smallies. But anyways, drop a line. I want to hear your opinion. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please feel more than free to subscribe to our channel. We're always rolling out great fishing content. So anyways, thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.